Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Doom. On this episode, I'm actually going to start a PWOD called Return to Phobos by Michael Kelsey. It was released in 1994 and was one of the first PWODs to replace an entire episode. And is actually one of my favorite PWODs um, simply because um, level design is really good, the design of the monsters is really good in terms of where the monsters are placed, and I can't get out of here. I got caught there. And uh, the level design is really good, like I said, there's a lot of fun tricks and traps along the way. And another thing about this level was that the, um, the design was actually inspired by Knee Deep in the Dead. So, Michael Kelsey pretty much tried to take the, um, the textures and the ideas, ideas rather of Knee Deep in the Dead, and used it for um, used it for level design, which is interesting. It gives you that kind of feeling that you have to rush through everything and run around a lot, and I like that. Anyways, hopefully the commentary is somewhat interesting for you. Um, I'm actually thinking about doing more Doom wads in the future, and uh, there's a lot of wads that I really like that a lot of people have not. Um, that a lot of people have not um, done before. Where'd you come from? There we go. Definitely want those bullets. As far as I'm aware, I mean, unless things have changed overnight or something, or there's something I'm not aware of, um, there is no Let's Play of Return to Phobos. Yeah, that I'm aware of. So. This is going to be hopefully something new, but the uh, game is really fun, or the PWOD's really fun, and uh, I really like it a lot. One thing about this PWOD is that there's a lot of jumping puzzles and a lot of switch puzzles. And this was before the time of Hexen, uh, where there was a lot more jumping puzzles, and it was actually a little bit to the point where it was ridiculous. But I still like the game, Hexen. Of course, Michael Kelsey had nothing to do with um, Hexen, as far as I'm aware. Or Raven Software. Yeah, I got hit, scanned, attacked right when he opened the door. It's also going to be a lost soul in here, so. more lost souls that we have to deal with. Also, there's going to be some imps up here that we have to deal with eventually. Lost souls are probably probably yeah. Lost souls, sorry, are probably my least favorite enemy in the Doom franchise. Simply because they're small, they can get stuck, and they're just annoying. Generally annoying. See, they just show up out of nowhere. Anyways, we've got some uh, imps to take care of, so I'm going to deal with them. Anyways, at least we've got some armor. Now here's the blue key card and some ammo, so that's nice. Watch out here, make sure there's nothing following us. There's going to be an imp down here we want to deal with, and another imp. Of course, we didn't get him. Alright, we're good there. So, what we need to do now is run down here as quickly as we can. See, this is the problem with Lost Souls. They just show up out of nowhere. But, we got some health for our trouble. Now, these two things down here are actually little puzzles and switches that we can uh, switch and puzzle, if that makes any sense. At any rate, this just takes us down, so you kind of want to figure out what the switches do. And these are little, whoops, sorry about that, these are switch puzzles, of course. Alright, now that we've got that, let's go back down here. I just want to hit all four switches. Make sure that switch is switched. Yeah, we got it. 
At any rate, what that does is it just opens up this area over here. Thankfully we had the barrels there, so... Definitely use the environment to your advantage. Oh yeah, by the way, now that we have the blue key card, I do want to go back. Because... There's kind of a little area up here we can access. And I want to access that. You have a lot of these weird platform puzzles, but the thing about this game is it really doesn't um, trap you a lot. I mean, uh, in other words, if you fall into a certain pit or something, there's going to be some sort of way to get out of it, usually. Thankfully, we've got the chain gun, so that should help against the uh, lost souls and other enemies that we may face along the way. I don't know why that switch didn't. That's because, um... There it goes. That's what I mean by the switch puzzles. They can be a little confusing at times. Now what I want to do here is go this way because there's going to be two lost souls on this side and one lost soul on the other side. And I just want to deal with them quickly. Now you'll notice there's kind of a gap here. Well, if we go to the other side, guess what we find out? There's a gap as well. So we've got a switch, which lowers this. Gives us a little bit of ammo. Then we go over here. A pillar goes up here. We have a little bit of sector symmetry. And a lost soul just in the middle of nowhere. And that raises a pillar over here, which gives us a switch and gives us the red card. So that's that part of the level. But that's the easy part of the level. The more difficult part of the level is about to happen. We can either go straight through this red door, or we can actually flip some of these switches and uh, take a look over here. I'm going to pull out the shotgun, because we're going to have some close quarters. We got really lucky there. Uh, that could have killed us. All right, now, you'll notice there's going to be some enemies up here. Okay, let's use the shotgun again. Be very careful not to explode a barrel in your face there. And you can hear I woke up a cacodemon. That's right, we're going to be dealing with cacodemons in the first level of the... Of, uh, I want to make sure I hit the switch here, just one second. Yeah, I got it. And sometimes if you go up here, you can deal with the lost souls early. At any rate, what I want to do here is just kind of um, starting uh, start to deal with some of these enemies one by one. And start picking them off. Hopefully we can get some infighting going on with these enemies. We got two cacodemons. Sorry, two cacodemons. I hope I just didn't. Well, whatever. You know, having fun with this. I don't care if my voice cracked. I don't think it did. Well, even when you're over 30 years old, sometimes weird things can happen with your voice. You'll know when you get older. Or maybe some of you are already old enough to know. I find the older I get, more unexplained things happen. Like my health and with my body. And I'm like, how the hell did that happen? What does this mean? Do I need to go to the doctor? Sometimes it's benign, though. Anyways, I want to get this armor. And, uh, Lou! I don't want to deal with him. I'm out of ammo, but I think I took care of most of the cacodemons. demons. Haha, <laughs> you just got int. I hate hit scan. I um, sorry, hit scan weapons sometimes, especially with the shotgun because there's a lot of variants. Whoa, I got him there. Good. I could use a little bit of health, and I definitely could use the backpack and some ammo. Now the switches um, earlier that we switched, that's what those do. They open up those little areas. Now up here, you're going to have a lot more enemies to deal with. Oh, we got to check those corners. But here... Oh, come on. Where are you? Whoa! I'm just going to let them go this way. I can hear they're killing each other. I was going to use that, um... 
I was going to use the barrels against them, but that didn't seem to happen. There's going to be a secret or two in here. Actually, two secrets. We'll get to them uh, momentarily. A particular weapon would be probably would probably be very useful there. At any rate, if you go uh, yeah, if you go over here, you have a little switch, and that opens up a little area over here. Well, it will eventually. What that does is it just opens up this little area. And you can get some rockets, and on the other side, I believe, is a rocket launcher. And I want some health. Why not? Now over here, you've got the rocket launcher, which is nice. You can see our uh, space marine grinning at the rocket launcher. Of course. I know I saw somebody else down here. Or maybe I didn't. Well, anyway. Up here, you kind of see a switch off in the distance, and you're kind of wondering, well, how do we get there? It's one of those switches you have to shotgun it. There we go. Or just shoot at it or something. Anyway. Once we do that, we can go over here and gun for the soul sphere. Which is nice. It's not a mega sphere, but it'll help. It'll help. I won't turn it down. Definitely want the ammo there. Okay, that's what that does. Oh, sorry, we can't get the soul sphere yet. My bad. What that does is we've got to go up here, and that should lower the door. Okay, I get it now. My mistake. It's been a while since I've played this. And we can get some ammo and goodies and candy and treats and all that stuff around here. Which is nice. I'm not going to turn it down. And once you do that, you should be able to go up here. I notice the textures are really nice and divided here. So it makes it look like it's like elevator or lift tracks. Anyways, here's the soul sphere that we're looking for. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not going to be completely serious when I play this. Um, I mean, I enjoy the game, obviously. But I'm doing this for fun. Now, where can we go next? Well... We've got all the keys that we need, right? Well, we can go forward. I like how these doors open up right when you uh, go that way. Now over here, we're going to grab the radiation suit. And if you go over here, and this will actually lower this, well, eventually. If I can get this, this specter out of the way. All right. There's kind of a little thing that will open up down here. Okay, what it does is it goes down here, and you flip the switch, and this opens up over here. And hopefully we've taken care of everything. Sometimes there's like a lost soul or something missing or something. I'm going to take a look at the map in a moment. I haven't mentioned this is the GZ, uh, GZ Doom port. So I've got 105 out of 107 monsters. I'm not sure where the others are, so I'll have to find them before we hit the exit. So if I make a cut, I make a cut. But I'm gonna find these monsters. Alright, the two imps that we, uh, the two monsters are two imps back here that teleported that I wasn't aware of. So let me take care of those and we can end the level. We got them. Anyways, I should take care of it, but I'm gonna go back and get some ammo and items and whatnot. Alright, we should be able to exit the level now. Now we got plenty of health and ammo and armor and all that good stuff. So let's see how we did! Okay, 97% of items. That means I missed some ammo or something somewhere, but I'm not really worried about that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Let's play Return to Phobos and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.